Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Bernard Griffin Saint Levin Sauvignon Blanc. It is 12.8% alcohol by volume. I paid roughly $5 for this can, and uh, it's a 355 milliliter can, so it's almost half a bottle of wine. So this is two servings, technically. And it doesn't have a screw top, but it, it doesn't need a corkscrew either, so still plus one there. Let's take a look at this wine. All right, from a color standpoint, I'm gonna give you a pale lemon, no artifacts, no cloudiness. On the nose, so medium intensity on the nose. The dominant things we're getting on the nose are, are green apple. I'm getting a little bit of pear. There's a touch of lime and just a very, very slight hint of grass, like wet grass grass after a thunderstorm. Go out there and smell the grass next time. Touch grass, smell grass, be grass. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, how does it taste? Medium body, medium plus acid. The green apple is kind of like a sour apple, like uh, almost like a sour apple candy without actually having sweetness. It kind of has that effect to it. Uh, the lime is nice. The lime helps kind of brighten everything up. Uh, the pear is there, but it kind of plays a secondary characteristic on the palate compared to the nose. Uh, by the way, medium plus intensity on the palate. Tastes low alcohol, has a medium minus finish. Dry. I'm not really certain if there's really anything else to talk about with this wine. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, anyway, let's get to the Blick. From a balance standpoint, full point. This is a nicely done canned Sauvignon Blanc, so full point there. Length, medium minus finish, 0.25. Intensity, medium plus on the palate, but it's medium on the nose, which means I can't give you 0.75, so you get 0.5 on here. And in terms of complexity, uh, I'm, you could have more to you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give half a point. It could have a wider range of primary, but I did get a little bit of that green note, and I did have a decent number of fruit clusters there, so gonna give you half a point. So in the end, you're a good wine. Uh, would I buy this wine again? Yeah, like I would, I, I would buy this wine, especially if I'm gonna be somewhere where having a can and makes it easier to transport or cool, or I can't bring glass places. Uh, this is not a bad Sauvignon Blanc to bring. It, it, it's actually probably one of the better canned Sauvignon Blancs that, that I've had. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's review, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Say Live In Sauvignon Blanc? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime.